What's going on, movie doors? So if you're new to the channel, my name is Christian. Welcome to Zero Productions, you guys. Josh Boone, the director of The New Mutants, throwing shade at Simon Kinberg and Dark Phoenix. Now, we can all agree that Dark Phoenix was the worst X-Men film. At least to me. That's my opinion. I've actually enjoyed probably 70% of the X-Men films that have come out over the course of 20 years. But Dark Phoenix really took a fucking low blow. I couldn't believe how bad that film was. I can't believe they decided to do that Dark Phoenix storyline all over again after The Last Stand. I'm sorry, but the Dark Phoenix storyline is a buildup. You don't just do it after one or two movies. No, it is a buildup. It's like an Avengers type film. And the fact that Simon Kinberg wanted to do it literally right after X-Men Apocalypse, which is the second worst X-Men film of all time, I, it, it made no sense to me. It, it really didn't. I was so bummed out. I was like, Jesus, it can't get it can't get any worse from here. But Simon Kinberg, you guys, he directed the um, um, X-Men Dark Phoenix and didn't quite go as well with all the reshoots and just, <laughs> just terrible. But the director, Josh Boone of The New Mutants, um, had some interesting things to say about that particular film. And to be honest with you guys, he's not wrong. He's really not wrong. I think he's right. And it's kind of fucking funny when you really think about it. Hold on, let me see. I'm going to try to find this article real quick. Um, but it's hilarious. I'm like, yo, man, he, he's kind of right. And I see where he's coming from. So he, he shouldn't get any shit from what he said about this particular film. Um... Let me read you guys some of this article from the MCU Cosmic. Josh Moon's New Mutants might be delayed again, but the director has some interviews leading up to the movie's last, last release date that would have been in a couple weeks from now. And one gives a brutal, honest take on Dark Phoenix. In an interview with Empire Magazine, Josh Moon said this about Dark Phoenix. Look, you can only go up after Dark Phoenix. That's not saying anything bad about the people involved. But it, what, but it wasn't what it was. Honestly, I feel less pressure now I did ahead of the first slated release date because we've tested our movie so many times and audiences loved it. <laughs> uh, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. I love the fact that Josh Boone is sticking to his guns and he's so confident in his film. And I'm so happy about that. I really am happy about it because... With all the delays and things like that, I don't think it was because of him. It definitely wasn't because of his movie. It was because other people involved in the corporation over at Fox that weren't happy with his vision of the film. And I'm glad that he's sticking to his guns. And he's like, yo, man, my movie from Jump Street was dope as fuck. But it got, you know, push, push back after push back after push back. And, you know, it, it was out of my hands at this point. But I'm happy that, you know, he, we get to see the initial take on what he originally wanted for his New Mutants film. Because he said he, they didn't do any reshoots. None. No reshoots have been done for this uh, New Mutants film. None. So we are getting the original release, the Josh Boone cut for the New Mutants. And I'm happy to hear it. I really am happy to hear it. And I'm kind of happy he kind of threw some shit at Dark Phoenix. Good, because that fucking movie sucked ass cheats. It was terrible. It wasn't good whatsoever. I Oh my God. I could just write about that movie right now if I wanted to. When Mystique died, I was so happy. I was like, yes, yes, yes. Like, I cheered. I was sitting next to my girlfriend. I was like, yes. I was like, thank you. Hate Jennifer Lawrence Mystique. It is the worst iteration of Mystique. Mystique, I'm good. I'm part of the X-Men. <laughs> it's just so bad. And that one line she had in the film, what was it? Um... Lately, women have been saving, you know, the, the men's asses around here. Maybe we should switch up the name to what? You know, ex-women? I was just like, cringe all the way. It was so, so bad. But I'm happy that that, I'm literally, like, like I said, I didn't hate all the X-Men films. I enjoyed X-Men. I enjoyed X-Men 2, United. Um, I enjoyed some elements to X-Men Last Stand. I enjoyed the Wolverine. I enjoyed... 
X-Men Origins was bad, but it wasn't the worst film. It wasn't. There still was still enjoyable because of Hugh Jackman and fucking Sabretooth. I will have to say that. I like the whole beginning sequence of them growing up together and fighting a battle. Badass. Um, and then you got what? X-Men First Class? Loved it. Different take on it. Forgot who directed it. What's his name? Oh my God. Guys, forgot the director's name. Loved it. And then you had Days of Future Past. Fantastic film. Really loved that movie. And then it went all downhill from there. Apocalypse and Dark Phoenix just totally just shot their wad and just, it wasn't good. It, it wasn't good. Especially the potential that, see, well, I don't know why. Like, if you're going to do an apocalypse as your villain, he's like legit like one of the main big villains in the X-Men world. And they rushed into that killed him off and the whole practical effects of Oscar Isaac and his suit was terrible wasn't good whatsoever apocalypse was supposed to be fucking ginormous this little dude Oscar Isaac is a, mm -mm, mm -mm. and I, I'm just not a fan of the young cast I'm really not like I don't care for Gene I don't care for Cyclops Nightcrawl is probably the only one I'm like kind of cool with I don't even care for Nicholas Holt's beast I don't care I, that's not my kind of beast I like the original Beast in X-Men 3 and X-Men Days of Future Past. Um, I forgot the dude's name. God damn, I'm terrible with names today. Terrible with names today. Um, but I'm not a fan. Like I said, you know, James McAvoy and obviously Michael Fassbender, they're, they're obviously the best thing to come out of, you know, these latest installment of the X-Men films. But other than that, <clears throat> terrible. So excited to see what Marvel Studios has in store for the future of the X-Men, the mutants. So excited to see <clears throat> who's going to be casted. So excited to see Storm and Wakanda. Like, shit like that. And, you know, they're going to do Storm justice. I, I liked Halle Berry Storm because that's obviously what we had growing up as a kid. I was like, all right, cool, this is a Storm. Then Alexander Ship, I was like, ugh, terrible Storm, terrible. Um, but I'm excited, man. I'm really excited for the future of what the X-Men have in, in store for in the MCU. It, it's going to be crazy. As far as like Wolverine, fuck, dude. Logan, phenomenal film. I forgot to put Logan on there. Fucking one of the top, top two X-Men films of all time. And I don't count the Deadpool universe. The Deadpool universe is outside of that X-Men universe. We can all agree on that. I love those two Deadpool movies. Cannot wait for Deadpool 3. That's going to be a lot of fun. But yeah, man. I'm curious to see what's really going to happen. Um, hopefully, New Mutants does get a, an official release date sometime soon. Once you know all this whole COVID nineteen things pass, maybe in the next couple months, or if they decide to throw it on the Hulu streaming service, or if they decide to do VOD because VOD is really big right now, and a lot of studios are doing it. VOD and releasing it on digital streaming. I would pay money to watch New Mutants at home. Best believe that shit, because I want to see it. I love the trailers. I love the feel. I love the vibe of it. It feels good. It feels refreshing. It feels new. That's why I'm so intrigued about this New Mutants. A bunch of New Mutants who are new to me. Like, legit, like, all these new characters are all new to me. So I can't wait to learn and love these characters that Josh Boone has created in his own X-Men universe, since I think it is outside of um, the original X-Men universe. I don't even think it's in the Deadpool universe. It's, 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 it's its own separate entity in its own universe, which I really, really like. But y'all, I'm hyped. I can't wait for New Mutants. I can't wait for the X-Men and the MCU. And Josh Boone is right at the end of the day. He's right. You can't, you can't, like, you can't. <laughs> you can only go up from here after Dark Phoenix because that film was <laughs> ass cheeks all the way, slapping both cheeks. <laughs> Terrible. But post your comments down below, like you guys, you guys. Let me know what you guys think about Josh Boone's comments on Dark Phoenix. And do you agree with him or do you disagree with him? Post your comments down below, you guys. And thank you for taking time today for Zero Productions. Peace.